Hi, recently I just bought this X printer model SP-420B thermal printer. The guide provided by the seller a bit of confused. There's a reason I create this video so that it will be benefit to the people who like to have this printer with this model. A bit of uh, information about this printer. This printer is a LAN and USB enabled printer. At the back of this printer, you will notice there is a LAN port, there is a USB, and there is a power, there is an on off switch. They also have a very small port, which according to manual is uh, for your memory card. And this video is based on if you would like to connect this printer to the LAN. For the USB, it's straightforward. You just attach your USB cable to your laptop or desktop. For the LAN, before you ever to use it, you need to configure this printer first. Alright, before you ever to use the printers, first of all, you need to download the tools called Dynasty Tools, which you can get it from the seller. And this already downloaded and I just need to extract it over here. I'm going to extract this zip file. So you can specify where you want to extract to. Uh, for this example, make life easier. And I'm creating a folder here called Dynos. All right. And I'm going to extract here, select. So it will then extract the GIF file to this folder. Let's take a look whether there is a folder extract successfully. Yeah, over here. Let's run this program. Okay, uh, there is a window protection. So let's close it. Uh, I'll click for more information and I choose run anyway. All right, now this is a uh, interface. Okay, let's start configure these printers. I will run this printer to be connected to the LAN. So this video only focus LAN configuration. Before you're able to configure the printer, there's two things that you need to measure. All right. First, connect all the LAN cable and power on the printers first. Second, make sure that your printers is the same network with your laptop or desktop. So let's start. You can click this internet setup and interface choose internet and click setup window will pop up and click discover and you will notice that the uh, ip address assigned by default this printer will have a dhcp enabled so you will get a dynamic ip for the best practice, you are advisable to assign an IP to this printer. This is normally what I do for fixed devices such as printers, my net storage. These, all these devices, I will assign a fixed IP. Now let's change the IP of this printer. The default is uh, 192.168.1.100. Let me change it by creating the change IP. Over here, the default is a DHCP. You need to select this static IP and put IP address of this. 
all right and the rest as a default if you would like to change the printer name you can change it here otherwise you just set IP all right click the discover again to verify whether the printer have take the new IP by the way after you set IP you will you will notice your printer have a sound TT then it means it's changing the IP okay now this is confirmed that the IP have been changed all right so the port number over here I believe that if you are different network then you need to enable your firewall to pass to this port number but in this video uh, I will not guide it because I haven't know that whether it's work or the work so to make life easier it's always best that your laptop and desktop is the same network with the printers once you confirm that IP you change is reflect to the correct one then you just press exit it will go back to this screen before you do a test print what you need to do is to define this parameter so you need to define accordingly with this parameter speed 5 density 7 paper width 2.23 inch paper height 1.18 inch media sensor continuous gap is 0 0.12 gap offset is 0 post print action tier this off 0 over here the ribbon is off the code page is 1254 country code is 001 heat up sensor on reprint after error on maximum length is 10 gap in turn 2 2 5 once you're done then you can press printer once you have configured the printer you set the IP you already test pin now it's the time for you to install the driver you can get the driver from your seller from for this example I use Windows so this is a driver I get it from the seller double click this driver and this this file this driver is is a self extraction files so the first step you will need to extract the files click next take the default folder and click next after the self extraction is done then he will run the installation wizard as well as pop up the installation instruction click finish so you extract the file and then you will launch the program you will notice here there is an icon and click this click yes okay let's start install the printer drivers click next since my printer is connected to LAN then I will choose network I got to make sure my network is the same okay let me switch to a network then I click next my model of the printer is SP420B then I select SP420B next so you need to create a port let's do this so select the standard TCP IP port and create new port click next put the IP address of the printer and click next choose generic network card next and done finish and you can close this so over here then you will notice that there is a port for this IP 
Equinex select this Equinex okay you then name the printers so I will take the default and I do not want to share this printer all right next and finish so he will ins the installation wizard will do the installation of the drivers wait for a moment now the driver already successfully installed just close it okay now after installation the driver let's do some uh, printing preference click this window icon and type printers and select printer and scanner so scroll down until you see the printer and click manage go and select printing preference graphic color adjustment and let's set according to the guideline provided all right so it will be negative 40. all right click ok and click apply and ok now do another setting print, still printing preference and when select new so you can name the new stock to ease my understanding i just put shopee and da 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 stock so the label size you can refer to your seller and in this case will be 100 and i believe it's applied to all same so you use this brand of printer and model so one way and uh, it's left one and one all right then i click ok and remember to click apply and i click ok now let's do another setting go back to a printing preference and choose option and measure this uncheck and set the darkness until 15 then click apply and ok the last thing you need to check is the printer property the printer property and choose a port if you are USB then it should be connect to USB all right if not for my example I connect my printer to the LAN then I do make sure that this is a checkbox so if yes and confirm okay yeah then you have done the setup you already configured printer as well as you already installed the drivers and set all the necessary printed preference let's do some sample printing of an airway view i use this example this is my shopee airway view so i go create of course this uh, sample okay example to test whether print the alignment is correct or not so i choose a printers and i click print Okay, now you see the element is good, All right? It didn't go to another page. Let's do another test on the Lazada. Okay, now I want to test for Lazada area view, see whether the alignment is right. So again, we are far and I try to print and choose the right printer, then I click print. All right, the element also good. All right, so it didn't run out the element. I hope this video will benefit you when you purchase the S printer SP 420B. Happy selling and happy use the printer. Thank you and bye bye.